Hello students, in this video we are going to cover the poem Rain on the Roof by Kotskini. So let's begin. A brief introduction about the author. Kotskini was an American lawyer, politician, journalist and a poet. He wrote poetry and his verses were collected in Kyuka and other poems and lyrics of the ideal and the real. Of his verses, Rain on the Roof, which was set to music, was the most popular one. Now this poem, it tells us about what the poet is thinking when he hears the sound of the rain falling. The poem praises the healing power of nature's rain, especially when heard from a cozy bed in a lovely cottage. The poet says that it is pleasant to live and sleep comfortably in a cottage on a rainy night when the tinkle of the rain brings dreamy fancies and he recollects fond memories of the past. The rain is thus an instrument of beautiful memories of the past years. The sound of the rain falling takes uh, the poet to his childhood when the fondest memory of his mother is brought before him in all her gentle loveliness. Let's look at the first stanza. When the humid shadows hover over all the starry spheres, and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears, what a bliss to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead. So in the first stanza, the poet says that the stars in the sky are not visible because uh, it's covered by clouds. The darkness created by the heavy clouds brings sadness as a result. Rain showers as teardrops. According to the poet, at this point, the only thing that can fill the mind with happiness is to curl up with a pillow on the bed in a country cottage. Though the room is the, uh, in the cottage may be small and ill-equipped, the sound of the raindrops can help the poet recover from his sad and gloomy mood. The second stanza, Every tingle on the shingles has an echo in the heart, and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start, and a thousand recollections weave their air threads into woof as I listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof. In this stanza, the poet describes how the raindrops made a tinkling sound as they fall on the shingles of the roof. So shingles are rectangular tiles used on sloping roofs. Uh, each sound made by the rain is repeated the next instant by the beating of his heart. What he has only been imagining till now starts appearing before his eyes. As he is listening to the soft and continuous falling of the raindrops on his roof, all his memories came back to him, but they are not discreet and separated from each other. Instead, these memories have formed a patchwork by becoming tangled with one another. The memories are large in number and have formed a cluster in his mind. The third stanza, Now in memory comes my mother, as she used in years agone, to regard the darling dreamers, ere she left them till the dawn. Oh, I feel her fond look on me, as I list to this refrain, which is played upon the shingles by the pattern of the rain. The third stanza, the poet remembers his mother. Years ago, in his childhood, she used to look at him and his siblings while they were dreaming in their sleep. So here, the darling dreamers refer to the poet and his uh, siblings. His mother loved them so much that she would deliberately stare at them every night, for she knew that she would only see them lively the next morning. More than anything, the poet remembers how his mother 
so lovingly used to stare particularly at him. These sweet memories are brought back as he listens to the recurring rhythm of the pattering raindrops. Alright students, so that is the end of this poem. I hope you have learned something through this video. So I'll be seeing you in the next class. Until then, take care.